Good morning, Vietnam. Well, Japan. Uh, not as beautiful as the last couple days, as you can see. We are not looking good for a dry day. Lots of rain, just good. Actually, could be our advantage. Could be uh, real soft. Would be an opportunity to go for pins. He hit it super straight. Lost a few yesterday on coming in, so maybe we can kind of kind of keep it together and keep it nice and cool and uh, have some fun. Probably gonna see some redundancy because we wake up, go to the course, eat breakfast, practice, play, go to the unsing. Every single day, same thing. It's a routine. It's good. Golfers need it. So, the next couple of days might be the exact same. Try throwing some intermittent funny stuff in there. Just keep you interested. Tee off. About 10 minutes or so. So, here we go. If we play well today, we make the cut. If we don't, we don't make the cut and we go home. I'd rather not do that. Ah, uh, the frustrating life of a professional golfer. It is not easy to pack up after four days of golf. Miss cut. Super unfortunate. Really bummed. Really bummed for him, you know? Just a hard way to make a living. Oh, this is not me. Just, I didn't even know that other, huh, you know there was another car of that color on the planet. Okay, where is my car? But yeah, just super frustrating feeling for the guy right, right now. But man, golf is just such a hard sport, you know? Just takes no prisoners. It's just hard. I'm kind of glad whew, I'm not in it anymore. It's just it's merciless, you know? Plus, I also like being in control, and this week taught me something very valuable that I really, really, really love running my own company. Whew. I've forgotten what, how nice it is to make the decisions and not have to be told what to do. But this is a great opportunity for me to humble my ego and caddying does that. If you have an ego, you'll be a terrible caddy. That's for sure. Yeah. No idea what he said, but my Japanese... Well, my Japanese is terrible. I'm just good at like guessing what people are trying to say. Oh. Well, I didn't film much golf today because the majority of the day was spent keeping up. It's a hard day. Catting's really interesting. When you are working your ass off, your player's playing like crap. And when you're just relaxing and you're not even doing anything and you're like zoning out and you're lazy and catting's super easy, your player's playing great. It's just like you don't have you don't have to try. When your player's playing great, you just can sit back and carry the bag. It's the easiest job in the world. And he's playing great, so you get paid really well and it's fun and everything's great. But the majority of players don't play great all the time. They play crap. So catting is just a hard ass job. It really is. And I had forgotten how much you have to humble your ego to be a caddy. Like, when I was doing it, I was very selfless. I always wanted to give and give and give and give some more. And then I stepped into like personal training and, and doing that for golfers. And that wasn't really enjoyable too. And I got a lot more respect from that. And as a man, that really made me feel good. But now I own my own business. I own my own company and I get to kind of tell people what to do. That's a bad term. I get to kind of dictate what goes on. So I'm running the show and I like that and, I, and I'm good at it. But to step back and to go into a place where I have somebody telling me what to do um, and I'm not the boss anymore, at first I, I realized I didn't like it at all. I'm like, wow, I really don't like this. I'll never do this again. But then as I, I had it happen a few more times, I'm like, you know what? This is really good for me because ego is so damaging to everything. Relationships, to our businesses, friendships, everything, family. We need to tuck it away. We need to tuck your ego away and you need to just realize that how dangerous that is to just have this ego that just uh, wants to like just beat everybody up. So, anyways, I guess that's my rambling for the day, I guess. <sighs> All right, so missed cut. That means six or seven days in Tokyo. What the hell's going on over here? That looks kind of cool. My ADD is kicking in. <laughs> Never mind, I don't even have ADD. I'm super focused. But this is kind of cool. I see it in the distance. Let's go check this out. It's like croquet or something. It is. It's Japanese croquet. 
just got off the phone with a friend of mine and he was asking me why I vlog. He's been watching a few of my vlogs and he's just like, why are you doing that? You know what? There's uh, there's two main reasons. I've addressed him in the past, but I want to address him again. First, I want to, I want to be able to freeze my thoughts in time. Like if I have something that comes across my mind, I forget to write it down or jot it down or I, do, I never even say it out loud and remember it. This is an opportunity to record it right now and then. So I always carry my little GoPro on me. Always have it on me. So so if I have anything that comes up to mind, I just say it. And it's frozen in time on a YouTube channel that maybe, I don't know, could help people down the road if they ever found it and watched it long after I'm gone. That's kind of cool. However, another reason is more personal. My father is, um, he has a bilateral paralysis, can't move much. Because he can't move, he's not able to travel and see me like he used to be able to. And because he can't do that, this is my way to keep him up to date about what's going on in my life. And my parents, you know, they love me and they miss me and they'll do anything for me. They just don't get to see me too often. I travel a lot, they see me once a year. And so this is an opportunity for them to see me every day and they kind of stay up with me. And I love that, I love that. I'm doing it and sharing it for my parents. But also there's this opportunity for it to extend far beyond that and get to go to these like far distant lands and watch people pay, play croquet in Japan, you know? And that's cool and I get to kind of bring that to some people if they're interested in watching. And I think that that's a pretty cool thing. I love that. And hopefully at some point in time my business will be successful and I can look back on this vlog and see where I failed and where I had my successes and use it as a tool to learn off of. So I think those are kind of like, that's more than two. <laughs> but there's multiple reasons for my vlog. And I'm just, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm happy about it and I love it. And I'm really enjoying it. And I hope that that comes through in it. I really do. That's important to me. Can I try? Yeah, no, it's got wheels on it and there's no lock. Anything just on a plate you can grab. So it's yeah, cool. Anything looks good. Hot water spigot. Put it in your cup. Then green tea powder. You can make it as strong as you like. I mean, is that pretty strong? Just a little bit of a. Will that be pretty strong right there? You think? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, pretty cool. I'm not sure. 